All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. To our founder, the Reverend Al Sharpton, to Dr. W. Franklin Richardson, to Mother Gwen Carr, and my parents, it's a pleasure to be here again. Let's go to the Word of God. The last time I was here, though, Rev told me to keep my bags packed because we was going on tour. And I'm still waiting for that. I'm not going to be long, but I believe I have a word from the Lord. The scripture will be coming from 1 Samuel 3, verse 1. And it says, And the boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. Let me first say again that I am honored to be here with you once again at the House of Justice. I'm an 11-year-old boy preaching for the National Action Network. I'm a blessed kid. I'm thankful for my parents who are here with me today, and they teach me about the love of God. The last time I was here, over one million people viewed the video. There were so many nice comments, but there were several comments that weren't so nice. There was one comment that stuck out to me. An angry man saw the video and said, what can a boy preach to me? And so I think that's the word for this morning. What can a boy preach to me? I need to tell somebody this morning that regardless of your age, God can work through you if you place your life in his hands. The notion or the idea that young people, that God can use the young is not congruent or in agreement with the Bible. All through history, God has favored the young. Can I call the roll real quick? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart played harpsichord and published his first musical composition by five years of age. Pablo Picasso painted his first work of art by nine years old. Stevie Wonder blind since childhood. He learned how to play the piano, the harmonica, and the drums and recorded his first album by 12 years old. David is 12 when he is first anointed to be king. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were teenagers. In John 6, a little boy's lunch feeds 5,000. In Genesis 8, young Joseph runs Potiphar's entire estate. The prophet Jeremiah is ordained from his mother's womb. And according to Jewish culture, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was between 12 and 14 years old when she was carrying the Son of God. When Ishmael was dying in the wilderness with his mother Hagar, he prayed with his mother. And the Bible says that God heard the voice of the boy. In 1963, African American children staged a school walkout to march in protest for civil rights. And last but not least, in 1958, a four-year-old Alfred Charles Sharpton stood in Washington Temple and began to preach the word of God. Yeah. Young people, God hears you when you pray. Number says that Joshua followed Moses from his youth. And here's a lesson for some of the elders in here today. Somebody has got to be willing to encourage young people in holiness. Don't write us off. We've got some treasure inside of us. If we can learn the lyrics to Lil Nas X and the Baby and Drake and Lizzo and all them other people, then we can learn the Bible and apply it. You've got to give us a chance to step out in faith. Little David volunteered to fight Goliath and carry the destiny of the Hebrew nation in his back pocket. If you give us the word of God, it will keep us separated from foolishness, laziness, and rebellion. If you live the word of God in front of us, we'll have victory in our future. It's going to take courage to live for God in this season. And my father tells me, son, 
It may be a lonely walk for you. But in the end, it's going to be worth it all. Paul told Timothy, let no man look down on your youth. But rather in speech and in conduct, love, faith, and purity. Show yourself an example to those who believe. Paul knew that people like to judge by what they see and not by using wisdom. So he tells Timothy not to care about what they say. Because if you live right and if you walk in wisdom, God will show people that age cannot limit the anointing on your life. Look at somebody and say, you've got to walk by faith and not by sight. Whitney Houston and George Benson said, I believe that the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Proverbs 22 says, train up a child in the way that they should go, not want to go. So when they get older, they will not depart from it. What you put in a child is what you get out of a child. If you put God, love, and affirmation and positive experiences, you will get young people who are focused, young people who are loving. You will have young people who are ambitious, respectful, creative, and God-fearing. But if you give us cursing and dirty lyrics, low standards, and no discipline, the Bible says that you reap what you sow. So the message is clear. Young people, this is our time to do and be what God has called us for. And we can do this. The Bible says that Samuel was just a boy, but Eli helped to shape his destiny. I heard Reverend Al say on the radio a couple of weeks ago that he was looking for some new leaders to follow him when he retires. Well, I want to submit my resume to Eli Sharpton. I ain't scared of the devil, and I'm ready to fight. God is raising up a nation. I got over a billion views on TikTok and social media, and people just say, oh, he's just imitating what he's seen other people do. He really don't mean that. And they are 100% correct. As a matter of fact, everything you've ever learned in life is because somebody showed you and you copied it. Well, I saw God use my grandfather first. Then I saw God use my father. Then I saw God use my aunties and my uncles. And now I feel God stretching out in me. I came to tell somebody tonight, uh, this morning, uh, the question is not what can a kid preach, but rather is this kid uh, telling the truth. The truth is that this is the season for new recruits. Joel says in the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all flesh flesh. He says your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions and your handmaidens they shall prophesy. Second Corinthians says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God. Tell somebody hold on. God's about to give you some new strength. I'm done but let me give you this word of encouragement before I leave. Young people don't doubt your Yourself. Don't doubt your anointing. God is not through using you. God bless you. God bless you.